Hi there, we're going to make the best chocolate chip cake recipe and it's a cookie cake and it looks so good. So I'm gonna be sharing that with you. You just heard the buzzer go off on the stove. So let me read it to you. Again, this is the chocolate chip cookie cake. Yum, yum. Mr. R is going to really like this. So you wanna have one cup of butter, three quarter cups of sugar, one cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of vanilla, two eggs, one teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, three cups of flour, two cups of chocolate chips. Then you want, for the directions, you want in a saucepan over medium heat, melt the butter, swirl it until a color brown and it reaches a nutty aroma removed from heat. Meanwhile, you want to combine the sugar, brown sugar, vanilla in a mixing bowl and mix the brown butter in. Gently blend in the eggs carefully, not to over mix. You want to sprinkle the baking soda, baking powder, salt and flour over the mixture and then you want to fold that in. You want to fold in chocolate chips once in the batter has cooled. Scoop the dough into a greased baking dish. Preheat oven to 350. You want to bake this for 15 minutes, slightly less for a thinner cake. Okay, so let's get started. So in the saucepan, I've already done the buttered milk right there smells a little nutty i don't want to get it done any more than that okay so when it reaches a nutty you want to remove it so that's what i did you want to combine the sugar and that would be white sugar three quarter cups of white sugar then you want to combine one cup of brown sugar just like that Oh, that butter smells good. I know that. And then you want to add the vanilla, which is one tablespoon. And I used Mexican vanilla. I like that. You can use anything you like, but that's my choice on the vanilla. Okay. So we've got that in the mixing bowl. And then you want to mix in the butter in that. But before we do that, I just want to take my little whisk here and I just want to incorporate this a little, just a little bit, just like this. Boy, that butter keeps smelling good. I know that. Mm. Okay, we've got that mixed in a little. Then we're gonna dump this butter right in. Whoops, sorry. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. I'm gonna dump that right in just like that. Ooh, smell that <coughs> the butter and the sugar, excuse me. It takes my breath away in that vanilla. And we're going to we're gonna put this and we're mixing it right in just like this. Okay. There, we got it all mixed in. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gently blending in the eggs. Careful, do not over mix the eggs in. Okay, that we don't wanna do. Don't wanna hit the bowl because it makes it a clang, clang, clang sound. Here, I have two farm fresh eggs. Oops, just lost my little sticky note in there. Two farm fresh eggs from our girls. They're laying good. They're laying about 13 eggs now. So they keep increasing all the time. And it says, gently blend in the eggs. Do not over mix them. Okay. Don't know if I want to use this because I don't want to over mix. Just gonna slightly 
bring them in just like this. When it says don't over mix, I'm real funny about not wanting to over mix that. So I'm just gonna, little dab will do ya. Just like that. Don't wanna over mix that. Okay. Then you want to sprinkle the baking soda, which is right here, one teaspoon of baking soda. And it says you want to um, sprinkle the baking soda, the baking salt, and the flour over the mixture. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna take this out right here. I don't want to have cling, 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 cling going on. Take this out here. Could I have to, don't really want to, don't want to bang it. Not my style to bang it here. Just going to open this up and I'm going to grab a little cup to put that in. Okay, then we're going to take the half a teaspoon of baking powder. We're just going to put that in just like that. Then we're going to put a quarter teaspoon of Himalayan salt. Again, that's my choice. You can use whatever you'd like. And then it says you're just going to put the flour on top of this. And we have three cups of flour here, just like that. And that's all in. I wasn't sure. I always get my beaters out. I'm not using my um, KitchenAid at the moment. I'm really giving that a rest, only when I want breads and stuff. So we're going to just fold this in till it's combined. And I'm gonna take this right here and we're just gonna fold it right in. Only want it till it's combined. That's what it says. Don't wanna over mix this. The good thing is, is when I don't have the mixer going, you can hear me better as we're doing the procedure on this. Okay, we're folding this in. Just like this, getting it all folded. Wow, three cups of flour is a lot to fold into this, but that's what it said. So that's what I'm doing. Grammy's following the instructions. We are folding it in until it's combined. It looks like it's combined. But I'd like to see it more of a battle form doesn't show what it's supposed to look like. This is the first time I've made this. Okay, I think it's all folded in. Oops, I guess not. Let's get here at the bottom. And turn that over a little bit more. Oh, there we go, right there. There's that butter and sugar. There we go. Kind of a stiff dough too. So I have no idea. Okay, I think it's all folded in. And then it says you wanna fold in chocolate chips once the batter is slightly cooled. The batter is pretty well cooled already. So we're gonna fold in the chocolate chips and it says two cups, but if I find I need two cups, I will add more and I'm going to start just like that. Fold them in. Kind of a dry batter. Like I said, I've never made this and it's more like a cookie. So 
It's not a cake batter, it's a cookie. More of a cookie consistency. Okay. Then I'm bring the rest of those in like that. And I've got my heart-shaped pans ready to go. Once I get these folded in, fold it all in here. This is scoop the dough into a grease bacon dish or pan. I'm just going to dump it in. I'm not going to. The consistency doesn't require scooping. Okay, so I'm going to bring this over like this. So you can see. What I did is I sprayed my pan. This pan is probably a good 40 years old. This pan's been around and around. So I'm gonna dump this in. Just like this. There. I'm anxious to see what this is gonna come out like. Because if it comes out um, really good, this is gonna be on the menu quite often for me to make. You just kind of put it like this. And I always say when I do two cups of chocolate chip, if you need more chocolate chip, please add more. I believe this is making quite a quite a good amount. And again, make sure you've got clean hands. I did wash my hands before I started. Wow. It's okay. I'm going to fill this right up. It didn't say how far to put it up the pan, so I'm putting it right up. It's going to be a nice, big, fat old cookie. Cookie cake. Just like that. And I have a, another small pan. I think I'll use the rest over the batter to put that in. It'll be like an individual cookie. And just want to kind of even try to even out those chips some. It didn't say, but I've got a few little red sprinkles here. I thought would kind of make it look pretty, even though this is going to taste some yummy. But right here, I've got some Valentine sprinkles, and I'm just going to put a little, little dab, dab in. Doesn't call for it, but I'm just going to put a little in. Just give it a little popping color. And now, this is not a thin batter. This is quite thick. So it says bake for 15 minutes. Slightly less for a thin, thin cake. Well, I'm going to start with the 15 minutes, and I'll bring you back when it's all done. Don't go too far. Okay, here you have it right here. Here is the cookie, and it's the chocolate chip cookie cake. So I'm going to give you a bark out now. So here you go. In this recipe, I found at Julia Blanner. Um, the pans are still very warm, but smells very good. So I'm going to do a bark out right now. And here we go. Cheryl's, uh, let's see, Cheryl's, blah, 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 Cheryl's uh, Country Home. Here we go. And we've got Little Bean Garden, Two Family Homestead, London Worm, Southern Yankee, Nest in Heaven, Biddy Boop, Brook, I think, um, The Vaporing, Jean Chambers, The Bacon Diva, Beer Belly Travels, Mountain Mama, Graham's Garden, Godlike, Inter 66, Self Taught, Theo T, Little of This, Little of That, Life of a Mill Wife, Annie Farmer, Yankee Living, Lovely Kid Japan, 
Um, this one here, hold on, they've edited. Uh, this is Patty Rose, Life Happening. Sorry about that. This wasn't edited here. Um, see Vintage, Spirit in the Sky. Two Flame, My Blind Mama, Shelby, Cray Cray, and Sid's Angels. There you have it for the bark out. So everybody have a great day. Please give me thumbs up. YouTube will recognize this and I'll maybe get recognized a little bit more. You never know what's going to be on my videos. You can also find me on a live stream on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 7 o'clock, and Tuesday and Friday at 11 o'clock, cooking with the Instapot. And I can also be found on Pinterest. Instagram, and Facebook. Everybody have a great day. God bless.